Yeah, Brian, those owners will be considered during the next round of picks for that grant money. Right now, the city of Seattle is currently ramping up its fundraising efforts to raise money for the grant and has already raised about $400,000. Today, I spoke to a West Seattle business owner, and she says she was not selected in the first round of picks. In fact, she applied for a handful of grants and were rejected from all of them, and that's making her want to give up. So I'll show you a couple of the things. Shandon Graybill owns a lair, a gift shop in West Seattle. Mother's Day is coming up. Yeah. Maybe show me some cool gifts for my mom. Yeah. But like many small businesses, she says a lair is taking a big hit during the coronavirus pandemic. So she turned to grants. Um, I apply. I don't. I applied for so many. Um, and you know the process takes a little little bit of time. But she says she was denied from every application. I applied for one. Amazon did one for local businesses and we're three miles away and I got rejected because we're too far. She also got an email yesterday from the city of Seattle saying she wasn't selected for a piece of its two and a half million dollar small business stabilization fund. And then you find out that there was 250 grants and that it was a lottery. Yeah, it just makes you want to give up on it. You just, you know, you, um, you get the rejection letters and you're just like the next ones that you see, you're like, What's the point? Graybill says she's not blaming anyone, but says times are tough and grant applications are time consuming. She has decided to spend her efforts in keeping her business afloat. I think I'm done with the grants. Um, I just feel like at this point, you know, we don't, we don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know how much longer we're going to be doing this, but I feel like that my time could be spent in so many ways. Jeffrey Schulman with the University of Washington Foster School of Business has this advice for business owners during this crisis. It's kind of two stages. Right now you need to adapt to the current reality and you also need to keep an eye on how you're going to adapt to the new reality which is people are going to be hesitant to come together in large groups for some time and people are going to be hesitant to spend discretionary income. We can't um, kind of trivialize the struggle that our small business owners are going through uh, through this crisis. Um, but there is some degree of hope that uh, the, Seattle's got a very creative spirit. Seattle's got a very inventive, innovative culture here. And so if the small businesses can find a way to help people through these dark times, uh, they themselves will get through it as well. And the city of Seattle says it will notify applicants when the next round of grants will be available. Businesses that applied during the first round do not need to reapply. They will automatically be considered. But be sure you meet the grants requirements because the city says of the nearly 9,000 applications during the first round, about 2,400 were ineligible. And again, the requirements requires your business to have five or fewer employees and for the business owner to be at or below 80% of the area's median income. Live in Seattle, Grace Slim, Q13 News.